Hey guys, welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to use an enhanced for loop in Java. So let's just get started. Before we create our enhanced for loop, we need an array or an array list. Now to actually make this for loop, we have to do for and then inside we have to do the type that the array is. So right here we have an int array, so we'll do int i or like any variable name and then put a colon and then put your array name. Now let's print out i. Now as you guys can see, it printed out everything that was in the array. Now some of you guys may have thought that if we printed out i, it would just print 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 or 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. But it wouldn't have because i is not the index of the array, but it's the actual value of the array. So when you put your array right here, this int variable right here, because this is int also, it will go through the entire array one by one and we print that out. Now of course we can also do this with doubles or any other type. Now there's two important thing that you should know about enhanced for loops number one you can't change the array values in the array with this so if we try to change this like go i if we like try to set i to a different number like four or something that's like not gonna work like the array value isn't gonna actually change the four and if we try to do r i equal to four that won't change everything to four because i is not the index it's the actual value so we'd be going one would set like one to four and then we'd set three to four and then we go six but there's no like six zero one two three four five six like your index values like this doesn't make any sense and number two you can't do anything with the index because there's no index number here if you're required to do something with the index then you should just use a normal standard for loop okay now audios 